there, I'm Square, and let's talk about art. So if you're familiar with anime, you're probably familiar with the concept of a mascot character. A character that is extra cute, that's used in a series to kind of symbolize it a little bit, to be the forefront character, the one that's allowed those cute little moments to give you just a little bit of adorableness in your life, and usually to sell a lot of merchandise. A lot of anime has characters like these. Now, one anime I have been watching a lot recently is the Inuyasha sequel series, Yashihime. And within that anime, I would argue that they are pushing one character as a mascot type, and that would be the Tanuki Takachio. Now on paper, Takachio sounds pretty cute. He's like a little baby Tanuki. He has raccoon ears and a big raccoon tail and a cute little kitty-like mouth. It sounds really adorable, but looking at the character, I feel like they missed the mark a little bit. <laughs> and it's been bugging me as I watch this series. I just feel like the design is just a little bit off. If they just made little, little changes, it would have made a huge difference. And the more I was known seeing, the more I was thinking about, the more I couldn't help it. I decided to try to redesign it myself. Now, I am no expert here. But I wanted to try to take on the challenge. My first thought was I don't want to deviate too much from the original design. I still want this to be recognizable as Takachio. From there, I wanted to think of a cutesy kind of pose. And what tends to be kind of cute are things that are baby or childlike. Knock knees or the knees are pointing together, toes pointing together, excited expressions, big eyes, small mouth, things like that. Things that are kind of obvious. Also, I wanted to go for symmetry in the pose, which is a little bit cheaty. <laughs> symmetry is something the human eye and the human brain are naturally attracted to, so it's a pretty easy way to make something look a little more attractive, but I wanted to take any advantage I could in this redesign since this is the first one that I'm attempting. From there, again, I wanted to keep a lot of the designs the same. I didn't want to deviate so much for, it's not even a redesign, I'm just making my own character. I still want this to be Takachio. So I kept the clothes the same. I tried to keep the ears, the tail the same. The main things I changed were the things that bothers me the most about his character design. One, the hair. And two, the proportions. Three, the eyes, but we'll talk a little bit about the eyes a bit more later. <laughs> his overall proportions, he's all torso. If you compare his torso to his legs, it's it's kind of ridiculous the amount of body space that is taken up by torso as opposed to anything else. His torso is almost as big as his head, which is kind of crazy in a chibi-like character. So I wanted to even out the proportions a little bit and make them a bit more childlike. Now he ended up looking a little bit more human-ish than mascot, but I think I'm okay with that. Beyond that, when I was looking at the hair, I knew, I knew straight off the bat that I was going to change that hair. The hair on Takachio in the original, it just looks pasted on almost like a helmet. It doesn't have any movement or anything to it. It's got this weird football shape on his head. I just, I can't. <laughs> I, I don't like that at all. So I wanted to give him a hair redesign that made sense with the rest of his character design. And one thing I noticed on his character design is he does have a bit of fluff to his armor. He's got those fluffy shoulder pads. He has a bit of a fluffy underskirt. So making his hair a bit more fluffy, I don't feel like would be much of a stretch. It kind of continues the rhythm of his character design. And once I put that fluffy hair on there, I was a lot happier. I still tried to keep that overall shape, but just by adding a little bit of that movement and texture to it, I feel like made a huge difference. Other than that, I tried to keep most of the stuff the same. He still has the same armor, different proportions. He has those little wrist things, like the bands around the wrist, the bands around the legs, the ears, the hat on the back, 
Now, one thing I did change a little bit more was the shape of the legs and feet. Looking at his feet, they're kind of weird. I, I don't know if they're, they're like halfway between human-like feet and animal-like feet. And I just, I don't understand what they were going for. And I feel like if you're going to do this, you got to commit one way or the other. So I try to commit a bit more to animal like giving the feet that long stretch, the three chunky toes. And I feel like that works a bit better for this character and also makes them look a lot more Tanuki like because looking at his original design, the only thing Tanuki really about him in my opinion, are the ears and tail. So adding an additional element, I do think helps with this character. Beyond that, the biggest change I've really made were to the eyes. And this is something I did consider a bit more later. I felt like giving them like these really big, cutesy anime eyes was a little bit of a cop out. So I do tweak that. And we'll reach that point eventually. Now, when it comes time for the shading, I try to keep the shading relatively simple. On Takatio's original design, he does have very simple colors and a lot of flat tones. And that's usually a necessity for anime. This is something you're going to have to draw over and over and animate. And the more details you have, the harder it is to do. So I try to keep that shading to a minimum basically using one or two different either a highlight or a shade within the piece and it's a little less than what I would usually do overall but I do feel like it works and it still stays true to his basic character design. Now the colors from Takachio, the, the picture I pulled from online are a little muddy. They're a little flat. I don't think they're that flat in the anime, but it's probably the JPEG that I found. So I do brighten up the colors later, change them a little bit and make them a little bit more vibrant while still trying to keep to his basic palette. So one thing I did try to do with the shading was emphasize the nose a little bit. Give it a little shading above, just, just a tad to maybe make it look a little more snout-like, a, a little more raccoon tanuki-esque. Now, I didn't want to overdo it. I still wanted to keep it pretty simple, but I like this little touch of dimension. I think it makes the face a little more interesting. Now, you'll see at this point, I am trying again with the eyes. Now, I like to think that these are two different versions of a Takachio redesign. One that embraces his kind of beady eye shape and still tries to make it cute. And the other one just going for full blown cutesy anime eyes. When I was looking at my final design for the character with the giant eyes, it just, I, I liked it. I thought it was cute, but a little too easy. So I wanted to give him the tiny eyes. And since I was going back in anyways, I decided to add some more details to the character to give it more of a Tanuki type of vibe. One thing I think of when it comes to raccoons, other than the little like bandit mask they seem to be wearing on their fur, is the almost sock and glove like looks they have to their hands and their feet. So I wanted to add a little bit of like skin, fur, discoloration. I thought it would be kind of cute. I had a little trouble deciding on what shade of brown to use. You'll notice at one point I am swapping between like a thousand different browns until I finally decide on kind of a reddish one that matches his hair a little bit. And overall, I like the effect. And now as we're wrapping up here, I do consider both of these to be two different options for a Takashi redesign. One that is pretty true to his character, except for the eyes, but I still think they're cute. And the other where it pushes it a little more, but keeps the eyes as they were a little bit bigger, but still that kind of tiny beady design. And overall, I feel like just these simple changes of hair, of proportion really makes a difference for this character. Now you may not agree, and that is totally 100% fine, but I enjoy taking on this challenge and I'd love to hear your thoughts on the final product. I'd also like to hear if you'd like me to tackle a different character for a redesign. I found this to be pretty fun to do and I would welcome another challenge of another character. So if you're interested in either of those things or supporting the channel overall, 
Please like, subscribe, comment, share it with your friends. Any support helps. And I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And please have an artsy day.